What's up, my people? My voice is a little bit cracked. I think it's my sixth video of today. Um, but I wanted to make a video about the progressed moon. So let's roll that intro. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, progress moon. What is the progress moon astrology? Well, essentially, because the moon moves so fast, right? It is the only way, the progress moon is the, essentially the only way that we can use the moon in predictive astrology. Now, I'll give you, you know, the example of the transiting moon, right? The transiting moon does one full loop around the zodiac in each lunar cycle every 28 days, right? So even if moon is squaring Pluto, right? Um, or if the moon is squaring your Pluto, or if uh, the moon is uh, opposite your Neptune, or I don't know, whatever. You're only gonna feel that, or conjunct, conjunct your Pluto is the one that gets me. You're only gonna feel that for a few hours, right? The moon moves you know, between, between 13 and 14 degrees each day. So um, the progressed moon, the idea of a progressed chart, just for people who don't know, is that let's say you're exactly 30 years old, right? It's, it's, you're exactly 30. It would take how the sky was, how the planets were aligned, exactly 30 days after your birth. And that is your progressed chart. The theory is for each day equals a year. Now, the progressed moon stays in a sign for two and a half years. Um, I would say the best way I, the best way I could define the progressed moon is it's your emotional compass, right? And you can easily find your progressed moon if you go on Google and search "calculate my progressed moon." Um, that should that should be able to, 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 to give you something. So essentially, there, there, there's a lot there's a lot you know a lot going on with the progress moon. But as I said, it, it's it, it, it's essentially your evolved emotional state where you're at emotionally. For example, let's say someone had, had a client the other day who had a progress moon. Her progress moon was in Capricorn, and out of her mouth, or out of his mouth, actually. Um, he was like, oh, wow, like, no wonder I've been so serious and locked into my work lately, right? And I, <laughs> I've experienced it, and I've had so many clients, people you know, that I've known, friends, blah, 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 go through their deepest dark night of the soul when the progress moon was in Scorpio. Right, the sign of death, rebirth, transformation, Pluto. So, um, and then also having felt this massive expanse, expansion, right? Almost like being beneath the surface and just being released and like being able to fly when it moves into Sagittarius. So, <clears throat> besides that, so, so, so. No, it does not replace your moon sign. Your moon sign is prevailing, but it can give you a lot of ideas, a lot of answers of why you are kind of feeling the way you're feeling. Like I have my progressive moon in Pisces. I've been very introverted. I mean, yeah, I have a million Neptune transits too, so it's kind of you know piggybacking off of that. But. Um, you know, you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll notice if you, if you look into your own natal moon and compare it to the progressed moon that, for example, yeah, there, there's certain positions that have more ease than others. Like if your natal moon is in, let's say, Sag, and like my moon, and your progressed moon is in Aries, right? Which it will be, uh, I think, in two years. That's gonna be more of a you know it's it's gonna it's gonna flow it's gonna feel easier right um, but it's more complex than that I'm a Pisces sun but let's not get into, let's not talk about me so 
understanding, you can go online, you can search, you know, to get really deep analysis or on YouTube, you know, progress moon and the signs and, and you know, see, see what different people have to say about it. But it's, it's really fascinating. And you can even track back in time um, through, you know, where your progress moon was at and sort of combine it with um, different eras of your life, right? Or, or yeah. So besides that, I'm not going to get too far into, into this. This is a, another video for another time. Is the cycle of progress sun in progress moon. Progress sun moves one degree a year, just like the sun moves one degree per day. And progress moon moves, as I said, like um, between 13 and 14. So, you know, if this is the progress sun, this is the progress moon at birth, it's like, Every 28 and a half years, progress new moon. And that's a big deal. So where you are in your progress lunar cycle, I have a post about that on my Instagram, at Jesse Nesson Astro, uh, is very telling. Um, yeah, very, very telling. Uh, you, you like, for example, let's say your progress sun is in Taurus and your progress moon is in... Let's say Pisces, Aquarius, I don't know. So let, let's say Aquarius. Or no, 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 let's say Pisces. So yes, those two signs you know, get together well, but still because the progress moon is trying to catch up, you know, it still has years to go with the progress sun, that's going to be a period just like in the actual lunar cycle, right, where it's very dark. And we don't really know who the actors and actresses are going to be in this next era of life, right? The progressed new moon marks a new beginning. The progressed full moon is the, you know, it's, it's, just, like, it's just like a full moon, right? It's the apex of, of that, um, you know, that, 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 that cycle of evolution of the self. So... Of course, there's transits, there's solar arc, there's a solar return. There's a lot for Daria, you know, professions. There's a, uh, there's a lot more with um, current astrology, with uh, predictive astrology. But knowing your progressed moon, I think, is a very, very, very good start for anyone at any level. And, and yeah, I, I would, ch I would uh, challenge you to, to, to look it up and uh, let me know in the comments how that resonates with you and also how it resonates with your chart. Um, you know, like I said earlier, if it's in a sign that is very different to your, you know, that, 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 that is very at odds with your nature, it's going to be, you know, a lot different than if it's, than if it's in one that is, uh, has more of a flow with that, right? So, so yeah, great to know. Um, very, very, very good. And let me think if there's anything else I want to say about it. Yeah, because when I, when I say compass, right, a compass, it, it, we can utilize this information, you know, the, like this knowledge, right, to predict, now not manifest in a negative way, like for example, oh, my, my progressive moon is, in, moon is in Pisces. I always have to say this in my videos, right, guys? Like, like oh, I'm not, that, that, that doesn't mean I'm gonna like just sit in a, in a, you know, and isolate myself. No, I'm gonna still try mind over matter, but it helps you understand, right? So, yeah, and it's, and it's two and a half years. It's not like 30 years like the progress sun. Um, I guess I can just say, say this now that the progressed sun changes signs very, only a few times in people's life. Um, I'm, you know, a 28 degree Pisces sun, for example. So my progressed sun was in Aries when I was two, my whole life until um, I turned 32, right? So, and that's a massive shift. I'm not gonna, you know, get into that right now. So obviously the progressed moon, um, you know, it, it, it essentially, it, yeah, it, it, goes, it goes way, way, way faster and um, it catches up with the progressed sun. So understanding where they are in combination to, to each other is important. And I just wanna say, like, if you do feel lost, if you do feel like 
um, a lot of people are feeling now where it's almost like, okay, um, I feel like this chapter's done, what's next? I always get the, the metaphor of, it's like you're reading a book and you're turning the page, but there's kind of like the page is like turning in slow motion, it's kind of like stuck like this. You can't, you know, you, like the, the last chapter doesn't resonate, but you, you're not like, you can't really see the next chapter uh, yet. So that's kind of how, 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 I, how I like to look at, at progressions. Um, always combining them with the natal and the transits and, and everything and giving you a better idea of what I like to call your astrological weather report. So yeah, last thoughts. As I said, mind over matter, never feel like the astrology is defining you or like that there's anything good or, or there's anything bad. Mostly in astrology, um, you can overcome everything with free will. Do not allow any knowledge of, of um, oh, just because your progressed moon's in Scorpio doesn't mean, like I, I know people who've had spiritual awakenings or who have, who have gone through the greatest growth. Remember, everything in astrology is the highest, medium, lowest, and everything in between manifestation. You know, so, and it's different for everyone. Anyways, there's more I could say, but I'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a comment. I appreciate all the likes and, and people uh, helping me out on YouTube. I really, really appreciate it so much. And let me know about your Progressive Moon experience, um, where it's at right now, any memorable times, and if there's anything that you think I left out or, or anything that you'd like to add. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Have an amazing day slash night slash morning. Ciao.